Today we're in the Construction Platforms Research Centre in a place called Ropley. It's actually a, a farm, but a farm that I think is going to be a catalyst that's going to help change the future of the construction industry. Today we've been showcasing some work that we've been done researching the use of platforms in construction. The vision was how can we take the construction of a commercial office building and break it down into a kit of parts that we could deliver onto a site and assemble rather than construct a building in a traditional way. So what we've got to do is take the pre-casting techniques and bring them to site. What we're doing here effectively is we're trying to develop what we call the productive routine, so the processes that people can repeat time after time safely on site uh, and efficiently, which drives uh, productivity. So the Transforming Construction Challenge is there to help the sector change the way it works and this project is almost a, an ideal example of the kinds of things we want to see. We want to see a kit of parts approach coming forward, a platform approach to buildings, taking a manufacturing uh, discipline to construction so that we are changing the processes. The prototyping has been key in being able to prove that those ideas are practical and really work and to build the confidence both in ourselves as a client and in the construction industry partners that we would use to build a full-scale project. This project just it takes out so much of the, the interface problems that have caused so much trouble in the past. It just uses intelligent techniques like not lifting up the really heavy stuff or not transporting the really heavy stuff miles and miles and then craning it into place making a set of very standardised lightweight components that you can put together really easily with, with low manpower and then pumping in the concrete at the last minute. So our involvement in this project has been as the design development team alongside Brydenwood and the prototype builders. This is the third platform. Platform one was for uh, smaller spans. Platform two, uh, again, that were a larger span, uh, and that were for residential, which got companies like Landsec who were wanting to improve how they build their offices. Uh, offices need a larger span than what platform two can offer, so naturally we called it platform three and gave them larger spans. So for us, delivering the kind of targets we wanted to see in terms of faster delivery of projects, lower cost, greater productivity so we can produce more with the same workforce uh, and reducing emissions and, and improving the whole life value of, uh, of the buildings. It's important that we don't just get time and cost savings, we need to do things better, we need to do things safer. It reduces the amount of people or workers that have to be on site so that means that it reduces the risk in terms of having accidents and incidents. We've gone from the sort of laboratory um, into the real world, and the real world is, is now, really. You know, we've been on site at Sumner Street um, and ready to start construction um, in the early part of 2020. So, so getting all of that learning and applying it straight away is fantastic. It's always hard to innovate, it always feels risky, and the team have, have marched through all of that and achieved a huge amount, and we really have line of sight now to, to executing on this first building down in Southwark to then take it on to, to the next and the next and the next. There are tremendous opportunities to improve productivity in construction so you know, unlike other industries which now are making incremental gains we've got this opportunity to really leap forward in terms of productivity. You have one of the UK's largest companies working with one of the UK's smallest companies with probably one of its most innovative design organisations that have come together to really produce something that we hope will start to change the way that buildings are designed, delivered and constructed.